Okay, next product that uh, I've been testing for quite some time is a new towel for drying aid use. Uh, one of the issues we have with any uh, modern, what I call a drying aid or topper, uh, like whether you're using Carpro Reload or um, Gion Cure or you know, Bead Maker or Take Your Pick, uh, Kamikaze Overcoat, you can keep going over on and on and on about these you know, Carpro Elixir. If you're using these type of, type of sealants, spray sealant, spray silicon dioxide, uh, even if you're using some marketing junk like F11 or something like that, uh, you're gonna beat up your towels. Your towels are eventually gonna become hydrophobic. Uh, so one issue, you know, I don't wanna have a towel that costs me 20 bucks uh, because you know, as much as I like to waste money, it seems, uh, you're going to be going through towels somewhat regularly uh, because these, these products, even washing in vinegar or washing in something like Micro Restore, you're going to end up with, uh, with, um, with buildup. And then eventually your towel is just going to push water around. It's not going to work. So what I wanted in a towel is I wanted something that wasn't crazy expensive. Now, these are in the $5 range, so they're certainly not cheap but I didn't want something crazy expensive because I want to be able to cycle through the towels once a year or so, maybe once every year and a half uh, and, and not feel really terrible about it. Uh, but uh, but I, I also wanted something that was good enough that wouldn't, obviously wouldn't scratch the paint because this is an important step in the process. So I've just washed the car. I've just blown the car off with my leaf blower or my drying device. Uh, and now I want to add some lubrication to the surface while also hopefully accomplishing some sort of sacrificial layer on top of my wax or coating. Uh, and so that's where this towel comes in. Uh, and so I've made a few transitions to my process and I'll be doing a wash and, wash and talk here coming up uh, where, where I used to uh, leave the door jams just dirty and then I'd come and I would have a separate towel for that that was really soft. Uh, but I found that the really soft towels, they just push water around. So my process has changed now where I actually open the doors, and I'm sure this isn't new to people. I've, I've done this off and on where I open the doors and clean it with my wash mitt or wash pad, uh, and then I have a cleaner surface, and I don't need some special super soft towel for the door jam. So I now use this towel. This is, uh, this is what's called, the uh, rag company calls it FTW for the windows, I think is what FTW stands for. So they originally designed this in blue. This is my first version of it. Levi s sends me care packages all the time with new towels that they have. Uh, and uh, it kind of sat in my cabinet for a little while and I usually end up throwing them away after I, you know, I try them once or twice. And this one I kept pulling out. He sent me four of them. Uh, and they like these for the glass. Uh, and so I decided that, um, you know, as usual, I like to use things uh, my own way. And so I tried it on all different stuff. Uh, and it is decent for glass, uh, but this is a uh, this is a twist loop type towel. And here's their you know the rag company Griot's Garage. And um, um, you know, I think Griot's Garage is probably the first ones to to bring these to market. But this is a big twisted loop. These tend to snag. I don't think this one has any snags, as I use this one mainly as my sweat towel or my overflow um, uh, wheel cleaning or drying towel. Uh, but this thing here is uh, like a thousand GSM, 900 and something GSM. They're just, I just don't like how big and heavy they are and they tend to not be very soft. Uh, you know, Gion has their silk dryer. I know a lot of people like these towels because they hold tons of water, but they just think they're too bulky, too heavy. So these are a roughly 500 GSM version of a twist loop that's softer, I think it's softer, lighter, uh, but still has the ability to suck up water. Because one of the issues I run into using a bead maker as my drying aid, I'm using more of it than I would use some other products. Uh, combined with, I still have water, you know, some water left over on the surface. So I'd be using tons and tons of my small drying towel. You know, I'd use four, five, six of these on a car where I found with, the, with this version, uh, I would use two or maybe three to do the whole car. So I asked them, last time I saw them, where were we? I think we were at SEMA. Uh, so this was uh, almost a year ago. 
Uh, I said, well, can you make me an orange one? You know, I, I, uh, I used to have an orange towel, which is my all-purpose towel. I don't know, I just like to have an orange towel in the cabinet. I think it adds some color. Uh, and then it just makes sense because I'm using, currently using this product as my drying aid. So why not make it orange? And so here it is, orange. Uh, you can see sometimes there's some strings that you may need to snip off. That's pretty typical of any microfiber towel. But it has a, um, I think they call this a suede edge. So the edge won't mar or scratch. Uh, and you have a pretty solid pliable towel that I now use on the windows, the paint, and the jams. And, uh, and I'll probably be modifying my, my full microfiber package here shortly uh, to make some changes. I, I still think that this towel needs to stay in the arsenal because it's so awesome. And I think sometimes you'll still use it for drying, um, but the, the new drying towel is, is, is this here. So I'll, I'll show you how I use it here out on the M3 that I just washed. All right, so I just blew the car off. And what I'll generally do is hit it with some bead maker and I'll do like a whole section like this. And I'll move quickly. I like to hit the hood and the windows at the same time. Otherwise, if I do the window and I try to hit the hood, then I spray it back on the window and start over. So I will generally have two towels, one wet towel, one dry towel. Usually I'll spray a little bit of drying aid on the towel first, which I didn't do there, but too late. So the beauty of a twist loop like this is this extra water that we have on the surface doesn't load up the towel as quickly. These, ten these hold more water. And yet, because it's a sm lower pile, it's not as heavy of a GSM as the regular twist loop towels, the big heavy ones, I find that these are soft, like really soft. That's what I never really liked about the big, heavy GSM towels, other than their weight. I just didn't like how they, they don't feel as soft. Certainly not as soft as like an Eagle, but I never liked the Eagle towels. I know a lot of people like those, and that's the number one seller, but not for me. Those towels just push stuff around. These actually get the job done without any issue, without any marring or scratching. So you can see I'm loading up this one side and spreading the bead maker in. And then I have my dry follow towel to come and finish the deal. Just a good, good option for you. So I'm a big fan of these towels for this purpose. streaks out the window. And so that's my drying process. The big difference, and I'll be, like I said, I'll have this coming up in the next wash video. I, uh, I use these towels on the jams because I clean the jams beforehand. What I'd always done in the past, which probably you can say it's smart or not, or dumb, but what I always done in the past, I just didn't mess with the jams and I just used a really soft towel sprayed a bunch of drying aid in there. I actually used to have a dedicated drying aid for that area. And I would go and use a different towel. And so I'd probably use these two towels for the whole car, maybe grab a third, uh, and then probably use an extra towel for the jams. So four towels for the, for the entire car. It'd be also great for sweat too. And uh, that's the process. So these things are great. I think they're in my store. I sell all the towels at, uh, at whatever the pricing the rag company would have charged you for 25, whether you buy one or 100. Uh, so I try to make the pricing reasonable. Uh, just keep in mind that you know, when you see these cost a decent amount to ship because they weigh a ton. Uh, they, you know, when you add you know, 20 towels to the, to the mix, you end up with a pretty significant weight, you wouldn't think. Uh, but these towels tend to, tend to get heavy in any microfiber. 
And uh, I have 20 in my cabinet, so I have 20 in this cabinet and 20 at the cabinet at HQ, so I would recommend 20 of them, but you know, 10, four will do the job, or to say five will do the job. But you know, if you have two cars, you know, uh, you know, I'll go sometimes weeks without washing my towels. So I like to have 20 of each in my cabinet. So anyway, uh, drying aid towel works for pretty much any drying aid, including spray wax. Uh, I think it's great. So buy them, it helps, it helps me if you buy them from me. Anyway, obsessgarage.com, go to the microfiber section. I'll probably have a microfiber uh, package version 3.0 coming out soon. Uh, and uh, yeah, that's the story. Anyway, thanks for watching. As always, stay tuned for more crazy. Catch you on the next one.